And welcome back as we continue our live team coverage of the big announcement that Senator Jim Inhofe will in fact be retiring before his term is complete. And so uh, we're waiting to, s to learn a lot more today. Yeah, and we're hearing about now candidates that could possibly come forward to replace him. And I know that we heard from Scott Mitchell giving us his lowdown, but I know Storm Jones has also been compiling a list today, uh, kind of uh, seeing who else might be available uh, to run for this or who is willing to run for this. And Storm joins us now live in studio uh, with a look at that list of possible candidates. Well, Carl, the so-called short list isn't looking too short right now. The only name or one of the names we know that people have wondered about is Governor Kevin Stitt. He says that's off the table. We obviously just heard from Inhofe Chief of Staff Luke Holland throwing his hat in the race. Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell is a shoe in to be reelected in his current position, and he has significant national experience. However, we're told he's likely eyeing the job of governor in 2026. T.W. Shannon, former Speaker of the House, Oklahoma's first speaker of first black Speaker of the House, hasn't ruled out uh, running for the Senate seat as well, but he was soundly defeated by then Congressman James Langford in 2015. Current House Speaker Charles McCall is on our list, but like Pinnell, he's likely eyeing a 2026 run for governor. A person in the Speaker's office today told me he likes his current job. Also on our list, U.S. Representatives Kevin Hearn and Mark Wayne Mullen. They'd both be able to pull a lot of money and are obviously comfortable in the Washington sphere if they chose to hop into the Senate race. Uh, there would obviously be openings for Oklahoma's first or second congressional district. Now, rounding out our list of possibilities on the Republican side, current candidates for Oklahoma Attorney General, that's Gettner Drummond, and current AG John O'Connor. Sources also tell News 9 O'Connor may jump over and throw his hat uh, in the race for that Oklahoma's first congressional district if Mark Wayne Mullen were uh, to, to run for Senate. Now, the filing deadline for this race is just about two weeks away, so it's really likely to get hectic around Republican political spheres in Oklahoma. And it's really, like Scott said earlier, going to be dominoes. Uh, you know, if, if a congressman runs for Senate, then that opens up a, uh, a wide open race for Congress, uh, probably on the eastern part of the state.